one who achieves the al-fiqh, yani understanding of deen, external intellectual understanding of deen, intellectual understanding of deen, but he discards and does not achieve the at-tasawwuf, the mysticism, the spiritualism, the internal, the depth, the spiritual depth of the knowledge which we receive through the mystic saints and awliya and sufiya and they were again among these aimma as I told Imam Muhammad bin Hanbal was the Imam of Fiqh as well as he was among the first persons who wrote the first book on Tasawwuf Kitab Zuhud written by Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, the first one of the basic sources of Tasawwuf. Imam Abdullah bin Mubarak, I told you he was the Amir al-Mu'mineen fil Hadith, at the same time he was the great Sufi and saint and wali of his time. He wrote the first one of the first books on Tasawwuf, again, book's name is Kitab Zuhd Ivar Raqaiq. They were authors of Tasawwuf also. And Imam Waqi bin Al Jarrah, Imam Waqi bin Al Jarrah, again, he was the great Imam of Hadith. And Imam Bukhari says, I learned the books of Waqi bin Al Jarrah by heart. And Imam Waqi bin Al Jarrah is also one of the students of Imam Abu Hanifa. And he was follower of Al Fiqh al Hanafi. Waqi bin Al Jarrah was follower of Al Fiqh al Hanafi. This is Imam Ibn Abdul Bar al Andalusi, Sahib al Istiab. He writes in Al Intiqa. On the chapter on Waqi bin al Jarrah, Imam Ibn Abdul Bar says Al in Al Intiqa. <laughs> and he repeats the same in Jame Bianul Ilm. This one is repeated by Imam Qurtabi also. He says, Same to Yahya ibn Mu'in, the great Imam of Hadith, Yahya ibn Mu'in. Yakulu ma ra'aitu misla Waqi. I have never seen a person. Well versed in hadith like Waqi bin al Jarrah. And who is Yahya bin Ma'in? He is one of the great authorities of hadith. That Aimma of Asma al Rijal and Aimma of Jarhubat Tadil and Aimma of Usul al Hadith. They say about Imam Yahya bin Ma'in that from Adam al Islam till today, we can't find a single person. Who learned a hadith of Holy Prophet in that large number as were learnt by Imam Yahya bin Mayin. He had the biggest number of hadith in his heart, which he learned, and there was nobody like him in the whole history of mankind. This is a famous and unanimous comment on Imam Yahya bin Mayin. And he is known to be an unanimous authority on Al Jarhubat Tadil Var Rijal. This Imam Yahya bin Mu'in, he himself is student of Imam Abu Hanifa. And he says, I have never seen a scholar in Hadith like Waqi. Waqana yufti bi ra'iya bi Hanifa. He says, Waqi bin al Jarrah, he was the follower of Mazhab of Imam Abu Hanifa, Fiqh al Hanafi. And he used to give fatwa according to Al Fiqh al Hanafi. And he is amongst the shuyukh of Imam Bukhari also. So the basic thing is, he was also from Kufa. The basic thing is that Imam Bukhari says, I learned the books of Imam Waqi bin al Jarrah and Abdullah bin Mubarak before I sat on the chair of Muhaddis. And who was Imam Waqi bin al Jarrah? Again, a great Sufi of his time. He also wrote a book on Kitab al Zuhd. So, Imam of Hadith. Waqi bin al Jarrah, the author of Kitab al Tasawwuf, al Zuhd. 
امام اف حدیث این امام اف فق احمد بن حنبل آثر اف دا بک کن تصوف کتاب الزہد امیر المومنین فی الحدیث عبداللہ بن مبارک آثر اف دا بک کتاب الزہد آن تصوف آل دیز آر شیوخ اف امام بخاری So the basic thing Imam Bukhari says, I learned these books by heart. So those people who say that Tasawwuf is a bid'ah, innovation, introduced by the scholars in 2nd and 3rd century, there are people who say, in denial of Tasawwuf and mysticism and spiritualism and suluk and Tasawwuf and tariqah, that this was introduced by the scholars and by some Sufis in 2nd and 3rd century. Saying this as an allegation is easy. Just uttering a few words, very easy. But let me ask, who were those people who introduced the Sawwuf in 2nd century? Let us analyze, who were those? They were not the introducers. These were the great Taba Tabeen. These were great Shiyukh of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim and Imam Tirmazi and Abu Dawood. All Aima of Siyasitta received a hadith from these people. He relied his authority on them. And they were the first authors of Tasawwuf in second century. If you deny their reliability, if you deny their sanctity, their credibility, their authenticity, just saying that they, inter they were the founder of innovation, then what would you say about Jamia Sayyid al-Bukhari? Because hundreds of ahadiths which Imam Bukhari has taken, they have, he has taken from Abdullah bin Mubarak, from Waqi bin al-Jarrah, from Sufyan as sorry and all of these are Sufis of their times. So Imam Bukhari was correcting the hadith of Sahih Bukhari through Sufi chains. Through Sufi chains. The reality is that all these branches of ilm they were working together there was no segregation. Segregation was there just up to the extent of specialization. The people used to specialize in two or three branches. But there was an interaction and no image of deen can be understood and can, can be comprehended perfectly unless you compare all these teams together, mix all these teams together. So Imam Malik the Imam Ahl al Madina says, unless you put fiqh together with tasawwuf, you are totally unable to reach the haq. Unless you combine al fiqh with at tasawwuf, you are unable to reach at haq. You can't achieve and attain the haq. Haq lies, the reality and the truth lies in combination of al fiqh and at tasawwuf so now we have discussed the three channels so haq lies in combination of al quran and hadith and al fiqh and at tasawwuf al quran and al hadith are on one side al fiqh and at tasawwuf are the second stream unless you put all these streams together you are unable to achieve the concept of haq so Ahlu Sunnah, your Aqeedah is in fact the Aqeedah of Imam Bukhari, of Imam Muslim, of Sufyan Sori, of Waqi bin Jarrah, of Abdullah bin Mubarak, of Imam Malik, of Ahmad bin Hanbal. Those people who have become to be the claimant of Bukhari and they have a very specific shapes and external appearances, they are neither aware of Bukhari, nor aware of Imam Abu Hanifa, nor aware of Aimmatul Hadith, nor aware of 1st and 2nd and 3rd century. They just hear some things from those people who have just such bits of knowledge, that's it.